What's up guys, it's your girl Naya and I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing my swimsuit try on haul. Let's get started. Before we get started, I'll be doing some pictures for Instagram and some videos for TikTok. So I want you guys to follow me on Instagram at Naya Vlogs and on TikTok at IB Naya Vlogs. Today we're shooting on location of Sunny Edgewater Beach in Ohio. And today we actually have change rooms. Can you believe that? They have four different bathroom areas. So I don't got to change in the car anymore because we finally have some dressing rooms. And I'm really happy about that. Edgewater Beach also have free Wi-Fi so you can surf the internet and check your social medias. Like I do. They also have a web bar for ordering your favorite beverages. A food court to order food. They have a place to get swimming equipment. And best of all, they have great customer service. The coupon codes from Sheen expire too quickly. So I'm not going to give out any coupon codes in this video. I'll just link all the codes along with all the swimming suits in the description box down below. I also would like to correct the mistake I made in the last video. I said Shine does free returns in the U.S., but they only do one free return in the U.S. Every return after that will cost you more than $7. That sucks. I also started something new for all my real fans and supporters. From now on, you guys can donate to my cash app to help me create new content. My cash app will run at the bottom of my video, and whoever gives money can also request an appropriate video for me to upload to my channel. I will also give shout outs to contributors in a separate video. There will be no limit on how much you could give, but if you want to see certain types of videos, you will have to pay for it. I'll link an email to my about page, so if anyone wants to send gifts, they will be able to get a P.O. box address through the email. Let's get started. The first swimsuit is the plain blue rib swimsuit with coverage. It does fit a tad bit big, and that's probably because I ordered the 14, 15 year old size. But the reason I ordered the 14, 15 year old is because all the measurements for the suit were below my measurements. And I thought it would fit tight, but it's too large. I'll put the measurements on the screen so you guys can check it out. The suit's bust size fits three different sizes. One of which is smaller than my bust size. Two of which are below my actual bust size, but it still bunches up near the armpits. It also bunches up in front and back areas. And the hip size is smaller than my actual hip size, so I don't know what happened. I did use the adjustable straps to try correcting the oversized areas, but it did very little to make it fit better. But there are reasons to like this suit. As a preteen, I feel uncomfortable without a bra. And this suit comes with a padded bust area, which makes me feel more secure in it. The material is very soft and comfortable and easy to move in, and it's very cute. I recommend getting this suit a size or two down for a better fit. It does come with a cover-up, which is a nice addition to the suit, and it gives it a more stunning look. But the cover-up is hard to get on and off. My cousin Arya agrees because I gave her the suit, and she said the exact same thing about it. You guys should also know that when you get swimsuits from Sheen, you cannot return them. So make sure you know your measurements. They likely don't return these items because you don't wear undies with them. And they're afraid of cross-contamination, if you know what I mean. Fortunately for me, I'm still growing, so I'm likely to be able to wear the ones I cannot fit next year. The next swimsuit is the girls cut out beige one piece swimsuit with beach skirt. I got this swimsuit in a 13 or 14 year old size because all the measurements for the suit were below my measurements and I thought it would fit snug. However, the swimsuit fits big on the bottom and a little bit on the top. The top fits two different sizes, one of which is below my bust size and it's still too big. The suit's hip size is 1.5 inches below my measurements and it fits large and bunches up in the front and back areas. So a swimsuit is not true to size, but it is very cute. And if you're going to get it, you might want to go two to three inches below your measurements. The material is very soft to the skin and comfortable to move in. However, you might have to get used to wearing it because it gives you the feel of wearing a one piece on one side and wearing a two piece on the other side. The wrap is see-through, which is okay, but the tag shows through the wrap, so you might want to cut it off. Even though this swimsuit doesn't fit, I'm going to give it a five out of five stars because I like the design and the color look good on my very dark skin. The next swimsuit is the one I have on now. It's the three-piece sunflower pimp bikini swimsuit with beach shorts. I don't know why she got them long on there. Who's trying to read all them 
wrong names. I'm just saying. Interesting to know that all these bathing suits are actually considered swimsuits. But the two pieces are considered bikinis. But technically, all the bikinis I got are three pieces because they either come with a cover up, wrap, or shorts. This one is considered a bikini. I ordered this in a 9 or 10 year old size because I feel like ordering below my measurements would give me a more perfect fit. And the bottoms fit perfectly. There is no loose material. I don't get a wedgie when I walk. And they hug me pretty well. But the top does feel a little tight. And every time I put my arms up, the top goes with it. And I have to keep pulling it down so that it stays. It's always something wrong, right? When I go down the size, the bottoms fit perfect, but the top doesn't. The good thing about bikinis is you can always swap out the top or the bottoms with something different. They also come with print shorts, which are very nice. As a preteen, I might be too lazy to shave before I go to the beach. The shorts will allow me to hide my laziness, if you know what I mean. And the shorts fit as good as the bikini bottom. So comfortable, so cute, and so adorable. I'm going to give this to a 4 out of 5 stars because I don't like the way that she's played me on the side. The next item is the girls' three piece plain bikini swimsuit with the polka dot print cover. Y'all really need to shorten these names because I'm so tired of uh, trying to remember all these names because that's so hard. Like, what's the word? What's the, what's, the, what's the problem? It's white and it's made of a high stress material. The top is made with spaghetti straps that have removable padding. It's also made from polyester. And this is another suit she recommends not to dry clean. I wonder if they dry clean the chemicals would damage the material. I don't know. The cover up fits perfectly, but I probably won't wear it because the swimsuit is cute and the cover up not. And I did get the 9 to 10 year old size because all these were below my measurement. And this time, it worked. The bikini fits me extremely well. So I give the suit a 5 out of 5 stars and I'm not going to rate the cover. I'm just not going to put it The on. next one is the three piece girls letter graphic bikini swimsuit and swim shorts. It's red and white and says Los Angeles on the front. It also comes with short, which is a plus for my lazy days. The bottoms have this V-cut shaping in the back. I didn't really like this at first, so I chose this suit to vlog in. But then it got on my nerves. Because I'm so skinny, I don't like swimsuits that crunch me up in the back. I do like the style of the swimsuit, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars. But it's going to lose a couple of stars because it didn't feel like I wanted it to. And because they could have put different cities on the front so people could choose the suit based on where they live. I did buy this in a 9 to 10 year old size. And it just didn't fit my expectations. Y'all, check this out. Look how long the name to this swimsuit is. The black with white trimming, teen girls, ring link, cutout, contrast, piping, one piece, squish. That's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. Y'all, she needs to be ashamed of herself because who would make a line this long? No, I gotta remember that in my tiny old brain. Like, you're in y'all. The bugs keep biting me up in my nose and stuff. Y'all, it's getting kind of hot. So I'm about to move our operations under the tree. Let's go. Contrast fabric just means a different piece of material on an item made from a different fabric than the main fabric. I ordered this in a 12 to 13 year old size and it fits me perfectly. It has a wireless bra, which is always great. The chest pad also comes with a removable padding. It has a high neckline. It has a circular cutout in the center. She does mention that this is a boho style item, but I don't know what the f that is. So, you can also machine wash this suit, but you cannot dry clean it. Or I guess it'll blow up and disintegrate or something. Just like the last one suit, this one gives you the feel of wearing a one and two piece all at the same time. But this one doesn't feel so weird because it does fit me well. The only issue I had was with the zipper. The fabric kept getting in the way and it was difficult to pull it down and up. The other issue is that the zipper heats up when you're in the sun. We went to the beach and it was 100 degree weather. And the suit doesn't have an inner lining that protects you from the hot zipper. And that was pretty painful. I just know now to only wear it in the shade or away from the sun. I'm gonna give this suit a five out of five stars because it's so unique and it fits me so well. And the only recommendation that I have is do not wear it in the sun. All right, guys, we have come to the end of this one suit trial haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And be sure to watch my photo shoot vlog of this video right up in that corner.